Hello! Today we're going to learn how to download Python in your computer system. But before we do that, let me just remind you of the following. You need to be logged in as administrator in your computer. You need to be in your laptop or PC and this will not work for mobile or tablets. The one that I am going to uh, use for this demonstration I am actually using a Windows 10 operating system. So if you're using other operating system like uh, Linux, Mac, or even Windows 7, there might be some adjustments, but definitely the procedure would be similar. So let's start. Open your favorite search engine. So I am using Chrome for this. In the uh, search box, type Python, or you can uh, type in the URL display box, python.org. From here, click Downloads, and take note of this um, uh, drop-down menu uh, note. This, the latest version, as of uh, January 10 today, January 10, 2021, it's Python 3.91. If you're using Windows 7 or an earlier operating system uh, version of Windows, this will not work. And then please take note also, it depends on your uh, computer operating system. So we have here Windows, Mac OS, OS X, or other platform platforms. Since we are using, I am using Windows 10 for this demonstration, I will be clicking on windows and once i click on that i'm given the option to go down here i have here that says stable releases uh, as of december 21 so this i have a choice of uh, downloading this version 3.8 because it's a stable release i can choose window installer 64-bit now what is the 64-bit and 32-bit you have to check with your operating system uh, if you're using a 32-bit or a 64-bit, 64-bit, so you will either download this one or this one. Okay, uh, if you want to get the latest version, which, which is not too much of a big deal for our class since we're just doing um, beginners for, um, for Python, uh, you can also choose this one, a uh, download Windows installer. Again, choose if your operating system is 32-bit or 64-bit. And then uh, it will automatically uh, go to the uh, uh, folder where I would like to have it saved. But for you, you could also cho choose from which folder that you would like to have your uh, Python downloaded. So you can choose from here, from the left side, you can choose, just click on it. But for me, I'm going to uh, add it in my year seven folder. And when I click it, save from this uh, window over here, you could see down here, you could see that it has completed and you could see that it could detect if uh, the kind of uh, processor that I'm using. So I am using an AMD 64-bit uh, processor and it says extension name.exe. So from your folder where you save the python.exe um, app, you click on it or you could right click and then open. And then it will uh, give you this prompt messages and it says install now. So click on install, wait for it. Uh, in a few minutes, it will be done. Just wait for it. I'm going to wait for the entire uh, downloading of this uh, application. So just wait for a while. Okay, wait it to be done. So again, let me just remind all of you, uh, the uh, version of uh, Python that I have downloaded depends on your operating system. Okay, so from here, it says here, blah, 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 online tutorial, and then click close. 
Once you're finished installing the uh, Python uh, application, you go all the way down to your start button and then scroll up and it will be added here in the recently added or somewhere here in your documents and look for IDLE Python, uh, the one that you just um, installed. Click on it and if you remember right, this is the one that we are using in class already. So that's about it. So I hope this uh, tutorial would be of help to you. Uh, good luck and I will all uh, see you again in our online classes. Have a nice day.